what is going on you savages welcome back to more WWE 2k18 coverage so tonight during monday night Raw, actually a couple of hours ago WWE 2k18 released an article giving us a lot of information about universe mode for WWE 2k18 which is great because it's always great to find out extra information there is one thing though i kind of made a video talking about universe mode and kind of just breaking it down but because this article just came out that video is kind of useless at this point since you know this came out now so i'd gladly cover it now then later on so let's get right to it so the first screenshots basically show us the first thing that we see on universe mode so we see the tonight show similar to previous years calendar power ranking and my universe so we get all the basic then it move on into rivalries and storylines and potential rivalries so for rivalry and storylines players have a choice in creating their own rivalries or letting them happen on their own we wanted to improve our systems for rivalries this year and we may some changes all around potential rivalries new for this year rivalries are separated into two types potential rivalries and active rivalries as the superstar compete in their matches perform promos or perform run-ins in each other a potential rivalry will be established between them looking at the rivalries menu you can see a meter for each potential rivalry and the state it's in the meter will build up as the interaction continue between potential rivals during their matches so basically you're in an active rivalry but you're also gonna have a potential rival that is up next so it's a nice way to go from one few to the next since the potential rivalry will ultimately become your active rivalry the interactions similar to previous years that we're gonna be able to see are from promos cutscenes and run-ins this interaction does happen randomly but happen due to different factors whether it is ranking relationship personality and even crowd reactions so after this interaction you will ultimately get into the active rivalries leading into many weeks of competition between you and your opponent superstar will fight to build momentum and have the advantage leading up to their big matches at the next pay-per-view the payoff varies depending on which superstar are in the rivalries things like ranking up to challenge for a championship in the show a new addition to this year is also intensity which determines what is likely to happen between the superstars in a rivalry and should help you identify from just a glance in the menus what kind of rivalry is taking place intensity has four different color coded levels low which is green medium yellow high orange and very high red so green being the lower level where the rivalry is just a friendly rivalry and very high already where things get hostile and it's very personal so of course the more interaction that you have with your potential rival the more intense that rivalry will end up being also worth noting that players creating their own rivalries can choose the level of intensity as well increasing the possibility further on what kinds of rivalries you can create this year we also got changes to the calendar and the pay-per-views they stated how our previous system basically the one from WWE 2k17 wasn't ready to properly handle WWE brand split and the multiple pay-per-views per month for us this meant overhauling our system for the most flexibility possible this is more of a back-end behind the scenes changes that we worked on but the results is that rivalries and storylines will now work regardless of when the start and when the next pay-per-view is happening so it seems like a lot of the changes is the system overall to help universe mode with creating rivalries and telling it to us more improvements in universe mode came in the form of power rankings so winning high profile matches earning championships and coming out ahead in rivalries will evaluate superstars and their position in the power ranking it's indicated how with different attributes and also bonuses will allow low power superstars to fight their way to championships and match up with the best of them or turn an already powerful superstar into an unstoppable force for goals one of the challenges we face with universe more is trying to articulate specific motivations for the superstars the article state how it is easy to say everyone wants a championship but there is a lot more depth than that when you watch WWE programming. As a result, they indicated that they implemented personal goals for Superstar that they can chase after as they compete in Universe Mode. Goals change for each Superstar based on various factors like the rankings and relationships. Champions want to defend their titles and the number one contenders want to win those titles. Close allies may want to form a tag team while a team on a losing streak may want to split up and so on. Goals have an impact 
impact on the type of matches and rivalries that will get started for the superstars. You will also have the ability to customize goals for superstars so that you have some suggestive control over how superstar can be booked. For matches and match types, you guys already know that there's a lot of new additions to this year's game, so of course we will be able to use them in my universe mode, including custom matches, which by the way, I will have a full walkthrough in one of my early and exclusive videos coming soon. As you're playing through matches, there's a chance that one superstar completely outclasses and overwhelms their opponent from the very start. Superstar with significant higher attributes than their opponent can cause a squash match to occur, putting their opponents in a situation where they most mount a considerable offense to survive or suffer crushing defeat. The most interesting thing about this is obviously how the new storyline system is gonna be working out. I will have more information in regards to universe mode since I got to play the game early, but as of right now, the embargo is not lifted yet, so the only thing that I was able to discuss is obviously what we just discussed in this article. So for much more coverage and gameplay, make sure that you guys stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I will surely be keeping you guys fully up to date and giving you more extra early gameplay exclusives. Anyways, you savages, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow morning right here in the channel where I will start uploading all the early footage that I was able to record for you guys of WWE 2K18. Anyways, you savages, subscribe if you haven't yet because we're in the world of 50,000 subscribers. I'm meant to see you. Dig it.